Hi, Ika. You look happy today. What's up? Oh, really? Haven't you noticed that I'm always a cheerful person? And ta-da! I finished reading The Prisoner of Xander. Huh? You have? Already? Panzanam is going to ask us about the novel on Monday, and ooh, I haven't finished it yet. Um, Ika, what happened at the end of the story? Uh-uh-uh, I'm not going to tell you. You'll just have to read it for yourself. Oh, come on, tell me, please. I've only read up to the part where Rudolf Rassendel was crowned the king of Ruritania. Did he marry the beautiful princess of Pavia in the end? Sorry, I'm not telling. Oh, with friends like you, who needs enemies? Anyway, what are you doing? Oh, I'm looking for a holiday destination. What? You're going on a holiday and you're not taking me? <sighs> just joking. Well, the school holidays are just around the corner. And my father has asked everyone in the family to make suggestions as to where we would like to go. Have you thought of a place? Yeah. I thought going overseas would be nice. Nice. And an absolute waste of money. Why don't you chuti chuti Malaysia first before travelling overseas? Besides, there are so many local holiday destinations that you have never been to. You're right, Daya. But it would be great to go overseas too. You know, see the world and broaden my horizons. It would be a lot of fun. Listen to me. What's the point of broadening your horizons and knowing about other countries when you don't even know your own? Shame on you. What if, while you're broadening your horizons overseas, Someone asked you about Malaysia and you didn't have the but answer. You'd feel terrible, wouldn't you? I'd look like a silly girl, wouldn't I? But, but I think... I don't care what you think. Just be quiet and listen. There's more. Number one, it's cheaper. Number two, it's a great help to the tourist industry and the national economy. Number three, you don't have to worry about food or struggle to understand a foreign language. Number four, I can get postcards of all those places from you to add to my collection. Huh? Oh, postcards? <laughs> you know what? You're right. About the postcards? Oh, go away. I'm talking about the other things that you said. It makes sense. Why didn't I think of it in the first place? Tell you what. Let's go and see Professor Ben. I'm sure he'll have more information on this. I think Tikyong and Ame will be there too. We can ask them for their opinions as well. Great idea. Just give me a moment to put my things away. What fun every people like us to get interest in scuba diving. It's a lot of fun and we can get the opportunity to appreciate the beauty of the underwater world. What on earth are you talking about? Actually, we were listening to Ben giving us his opinion on marine life and scuba diving. Hmm, interesting. But we're here for a different reason. Ika and her family are looking for a local holiday destination. Maybe you guys can suggest some interesting places for them to visit? A scuba diving holiday! Huh? A scuba diving holiday in Langkawi Island. Are we talking about the same Langkawi Island, the one in Kedah? I've heard of it, but what's so special about it? That's right, the one and only. It is a really interesting place to visit. I've been there three times and I still want to go back. Do you know that there is an underwater world of scenario on Langkawi Island? Really? Yeah, and there are so many things that you can do or see and so much you can learn from. For instance, on how to scuba dive. And it's rich in history. I'm sure you know about the legend of Masuri. And its fishing industry. And how herbs are produced from seaweed. Wow, you guys know so much. I'm impressed. So, Ika, do you want me to go on? Yeah, yeah, Ami. You probably got all the information from Ben, you little show-off. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> ben, you got me really interested. Go on, tell me more about Langkawi Island and about scuba diving too. You said that scuba was an acronym for something. What was it again? Uh, yes, uh, scuba, as C U B A, stands for Self Contained Underwater Breathing Apparatus. It's actually something that helps us breathe underwater. It contains 21% oxygen and 79% nitrogen. 
you use if you plan to stay underwater for more than 30 minutes. So, what do you do with it? Just trap it on and dive into the water? Yes, but there are conditions, Ika. You have to follow the universal safety procedures that have been set. And you have to be physically fit. Scuba diving is not an easy task. You need to practice. But where can we learn how to scuba dive? Ah, yeah, at Langkawi Island, of course. You girls are so slow at figuring things out. Excuse me? <laughs> Sorry to burst that macho bubbles of yours, Ti Kiong. One of them is at the Dive Elite Aquatic Center in Shah Alam Selangor. Um, where can someone who is interested start? I mean, do we have to pass some tests or something before we are allowed to go scuba diving? Oh yes, definitely. Everyone is required to go for a course to acquire a special license for open water diving. Okay. What about the equipment needed? Maybe Tikyong's. Yeah, Tikyong? Uh, I think I'll let Ben do this one. Thank you, what an honor. Well, it consists of a wetsuit, flippers, and a tank. However, you do still need some accessories, like the silicone dive mask and a snorkeling set. So, who is allowed to take up scuba diving? Anyone who is 10 years old and above can sign up. Hey, why don't we all sign up for a scuba diving course? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'm more for it. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you so much, guys. I'm going right home to tell my father about it. I'm sure he'll agree to take us to Langkawi Island. Definitely. Definitely. Hey, Ika, why don't you get your whole family to go for a scuba diving course? Then, when you go holiday in Langkawi Island, can all go scuba diving. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell my father that too. Okay, bye then. Okay, bye. bye. Okay, friends, I'm going to tell you more about Langkawi Island. It is one of the most beautiful islands in the world and is internationally known. Have you been there? Well, if you haven't, then you are missing out on something special. Go visit Langkawi Island during the next school holidays. Let me tell you more about this wonderful place called Underwater World Langkawi. Located at the shores of Pantai Chenang Langkawi Kata, it is the largest public aquarium in Malaysia and was voted for 1996-97 Malaysia's Best Man-Made Tourist Attraction in the prestigious Tourism Award. Underwater World Langkawi was built with the concept to educate and to raise awareness about the importance of conserving its precious aquatic flora and fauna, reptiles, amphibians, and mammals. This is freshwater section. It contains a very impressive display of freshwater fishes from Amazon, Southeast Asia, Africa, North America, and the Australian continent. It includes some of the world's largest, most rare, and expensive species of freshwater creatures. Hey, look at this fish! It's Arapaima. Arapaima is the largest freshwater fish from the Amazon. Wow, this is flower horn. What a beautiful fish. For your information, this is one of the most expensive freshwater fish. Continue our journey to the next section.
Um, we are right now at the tunnel tank. This is our biggest tank in Nanduwatu world. And as you can see, uh, behind us, we have lots of uh, collections of fish, approximately 20 species. And uh, the nearest here, you can see this is our um, green turtle. And he's resting after his lunch. And uh, at the moment, now we have the white tip sharks. Um, besides sharks, we also have giant groupers. The tunnel is about 15 meters long, and this, this tank can hold about 600 tons of sea water. We have glass panels. Uh, the, panels the panels are made from tempered glass. Uh, it's a normal glass, but it's, it, it's made specially to withstand high pressure. And the walls are made of concrete. Um, it's a special kind of concrete that you make for a big, big tank. What's more? Oh, this is Mini Reptilium. Let us have some explanation from the curator. Okay, um, this is an ornate frog. Ornate frogs doesn't actually live in the water or in, in the water, like in ponds or river. Um, actually, it likes to live in a burrow that it digs from a sand or uh, dirt and stays in that hole and wait for its prey, like a cricket or a mouse, in fact. And when it detects uh, its prey, let's say a mouse, it will pounce on the mouse and grab it and swallow the mouse whole with its big mouth. Okay? We are, at the moment, in the uh, koi pond area, and this is the koi pond. And besides the Japanese koi, koi we also have the African catfish, we have the red devil chilies. This, this area is actually an um, outdoor garden, um, a favorite spot for the visitors to take pictures. And this is actually a man-made um, area. All this that you see are man-made. They're made of concrete, but they're made to look like natural rocks and um, hill walls. And on my right, if you can see, uh, there is a cascading waterfall. That is also man-made. Uh, it's not natural, but it's made to look natural. Look at the seashell display. Underwater World are showcasing more than 100 species of seashells from all over the world. It comes in all shapes, shapes and sizes. This includes the hot corals and shells from the ancient Nautilus. Now we are at coral reef section. Here you can experience an explosion of delightful colors. These underwater gardens are living treasures of the ocean's delicate ecosystem. These are the leafy sea dragons. They are from southern Australia. They live in a very cold water. In fact, that our tanks, we set the water temperature to 18 degrees Celsius. The sea dragons are a member of a family called Signetidae, um, which in also include the seahorses and the pipe fishes. Um, one unique thing about the sea dragons is that the male give birth to the babies. Um, the female will deposit her eggs to the male and the male will carry and incubate the eggs until hatch. The ones that we have here are about two years old and they are 
at their um, adult size, which is about 30 centimeters. These are new info for those who haven't been to underwater world Langkawi. The upcoming attraction is a 60,000 feet new development, housing three different ecosystems which will be located next to the existing building. It will also house a 200-seat 3D cinema displaying movies of other aquatic life forms. So why wait? It's a lot of fun and we can get the opportunity to appreciate the beauty of underwater work. An adjective tells us something about a person, animal, place or thing. In other words, an adjective can describe the shape, size, colour condition and even the number of the person, animal, place or thing that we are talking about. We usually write the adjective before the noun. Let's see how Ben and his friends use some adjectives as they talk about holidays and scuba diving. Haven't you noticed them always a cheerful person? The beautiful princess of Korea in the end. I'd look like a silly girl, wouldn't I? It's about time young people like us took an interest in scuba diving. Maybe you guys can suggest some interesting places for them to visit? Here are some of the words that you heard Ben and his friends use when they spoke to one another. Listen to how they are pronounced. Horizon Tourist Tourist Opportunity Opportunity Destination Destination Apparatus Apparatus Okay, that's where now, if you or your friends haven't had the chance to explore the underwater world, don't worry, we do have other alternatives. So, let's surf the net to find out. First, click on the Internet Explorer. Then, use the word search. Type in your keyword, which is underwater world and Kaui, and see what happens. Aha, here we are. Many websites for you to choose from. Let's try um, this one www.angelfire.com. If you want to, you can email the information to your friends. 
which they will receive in a matter of seconds. And it's all at the click of a button. Click mail. Then click send current page to friend. Tap in your Yahoo ID. Then put in your secret password. Sign in. Insert the address of your friend's email. Click send. Okay, that's done. We've learned quite a few things about holiday activities, especially on scuba diving. Let's put it all into a mind map to help us remember. Scuba Self Contain Underwater Breathing Apparatus Type of scuba Commercial diving Military diving Sports and recreational diving Equipment for scuba diving Fin Regulator Wetsuit Face mask with snorkel set Tank Belt and weight Underwater world Freshwater section Seashell display Coral reef section Tunnel tank Koi pond Marine life Amphibian Molasses Crustacean Fishes Mammals Freshwater fish Flower horn Black ghost knife fish Arapaima Arowana Hmm, very interesting. 
I hope that we have been able to get you excited about holidaying in Malaysia and about taking out scuba diving. Okay, bye for now and make sure you keep in touch with the latest developments in technology and don't forget to visit Underwater World Langkawi to explore marine life. Thank you.